Hey Frog Squad, Coach Laura here to lead you through a yoga session. Um, we are going to focus on lower body today, so opening up hips, hamstrings, glutes, quads, all that lower body that might be hurting from the on-the-go workouts this week. Coach Drew and Coach Durrell are going to be my models today for yoga. Um, you don't need much equipment wise. Um, if you do have a mat, you can go ahead and grab that. Or if you just want to practice on carpet, we will be doing some positions where you're kneeling. It's just a little protection for your knees. Um, and then if you don't have any yoga blocks, you can grab a sturdy water bottle. This will work as well to support you in some of the balancing postures we do. Other than that, you just need yourself. So we will get started. <laughs> go ahead and come to child's pose. So bring your big toes to touch. Take your knees out wide to either side of your mat. Then sit your hips back to your heels and walk your fingertips up toward the top of your mat. So in child's pose, we are working to traction your spine in opposite directions. With every inhale you take, sit your hips back a little bit closer to your heels. And in every exhale, walk your fingertips up to the top of your mat. You want to find a little more space along the back line of your body. While you're here, you can gently rock your head side to side. Find a little forehead massage if that feels good. Take a moment just to feel really grounded, really rooted in this space. Know that you're taking the next 60 minutes or so just to focus on improving yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever it may be. And that in some way, your personal yoga practice will benefit every single person that you encounter. Every person that you are able to meet with a little more empathy, a little more understanding in this time, when we could all use just a little bit more of that. So if you don't feel like you can devote these next 60 minutes just to you, Maybe you devote them to your spouse or your children, your coworkers, anyone who you would like to be able to treat with a little more kindness during this time. And with that idea of kindness in mind, take one more big inhale, fill up your lungs. Open mouth, exhale, sigh out loud. And when you feel ready, you can walk your hands back underneath your shoulders and press yourself up to a tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips, over your knees. We'll take it into some cat cows. So on your inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly towards your mat. Take your gaze up and out in front of you. Try and roll your shoulders down your back. Exhale, cat. Round your spine. Tuck your chin into your chest. See if you can gaze for your belly button. Think about lifting the back of your heart up toward the ceiling. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly down. Press your heart forward. Exhale, cat. Round your spine. Actively press the floor away. Start to take these cat cows at your pace. Really tune into your breath. Try to follow one breath to movement here. And then see if you can really exaggerate this all the way from your tailbone up to the crown of your head. Just finding a little movement all the way through your spine. Perfect. Take one more round of these here. Follow the breath. And then when you're done, just meet us back in stillness in your tabletop position. I'll meet you back here. Next up, we're going to find a little twisting throughout your spine. So start by bringing your right fingertips behind your head. On an inhale, take your right elbow up toward the ceiling. See if you can stack your right shoulder directly over your left. And then exhale, right elbow to left wrist. Draw your belly in tight. Try to keep your hips still and find a twist through your spine. Inhale, take your elbow up high, open up your chest. Exhale, elbow to wrist, find your twist. One more like that. Inhale, elbow up. And exhale, elbow to wrist, twist it up. On your inhale, reach your right fingertips up toward the ceiling this time. So find a little more length, maybe a few wrist circles. 
and we'll exhale to thread the needle. Guide your right hand between your left palm and knee. Let your head rest on your mat here. Keep your hips up high. And then that left palm can stay exactly where it is. You can walk your left fingertips up toward the top of your mat. Or if you feel like you'd like a little more sensation here, you can tuck your left hand behind your right hip. And then once you find the variation that works for you, just breathe into it. Notice this twisting sensation throughout your spine. Notice any sensation that you might be feeling in your right shoulder. Open up a little more space there as well. And then if you took any variations with your left hand, walk it back underneath your shoulder. Press your left palm into the earth. On an inhale, take your right fingertips back up to the ceiling. And we'll exhale back to your tabletop. We're going to do all of that on the opposite side. So start with your left fingertips behind your head. Inhale, take your left elbow up towards the ceiling. Work to stack your shoulders. Exhale, left elbow to right wrist. Suck your belly button back to your spine. Find that twist. Inhale, elbow up high. Open up through your chest. Exhale, elbow to wrist. Again, out your spine. One more like that. Inhale, elbow up. And exhale, twist it out. On your inhale, reach your left fingertips up toward the ceiling this time. Find a little more length through that left arm, maybe a few circles with your wrist. And exhale, thread the needle. Guide your left hand between your right palm and knee. Allow your head to rest on your mat, protect your neck. And then take whatever variation with your right hand that you took on the first side. So either keep your palm underneath your shoulder, walk your fingertips up, or find that half bind, tuck your right hand behind your left hip. And take a second to come back to your breath. If you took any variations, go ahead and walk your right hand back underneath your shoulder. Press your palm into the earth. On an inhale, take your left fingertips up toward the ceiling, unwind. And exhale to your tabletop. So we're going to start to get into that lower body a little bit more now. So from this tabletop position, go ahead and extend your right leg out to the side. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> So on your inhale, we're gonna shift forward into a modified cobra pose. Drop your hip points toward the floor. Maybe your arms stay straight. Maybe you take a deep bend in your elbows. Take what you need. And then on your exhale, we'll press it back to a modified child's pose. So sit your hips back to your heels. On your inhale, modified cobra, shift your hip points forward. Remember, take a deep bend in your elbows as you need. And exhale, modified child's pose. Sit your hips back. Start to feel that sensation through your right inner thigh. Inhale, modified cobra. Shift forward. If you'd like to find a little back bend here, you can even press into those palms. Start to take your gaze up. And exhale, modified child's pose. Sit again. One more like this. Inhale, shift your weight forward. And exhale, sit your hips back. And when you're done, just meet us back in your tabletop, draw your right knee back in. Take a second, maybe tap out your feet. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Extend your left leg out long. On your inhale, shift your hip points forward. First time on this side, maybe you take a deeper bend in your elbows. And exhale, modified child's pose, hips to heels. Feel that sensation through your left inner thigh. Good, you got it. Inhale, modified cobra, shift forward. And exhale, modified child's pose, sit back. Move at your pace here, feel free to follow your breath. Inhale, shift forward. If you're starting to feel a little more comfortable, maybe you start to take it into that little back bend, gaze up. And exhale, sit back. One more, Coach Durrell. <laughs> Inhale, shift forward. <laughs> And exhale, sit those hips back. Take your time. When you feel ready, just meet us back in your tabletop position. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
From this tabletop, on an inhale, curl your toes under. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Press your hips back and up. First time in down dog, take any movements that feel good. So maybe you start by pedaling out your heels. Maybe you take a really generous bend in your knees. Sit your hips low and press up. You can take your dog for a walk. Maybe you find some twists here. You can reach your right hand for left ankle, left hand for right ankle, back and forth. Whatever feels right. Just find a little organic movement in this down dog. If you want to warm up your shoulders a little more, you can always shift forward into your plank and then press back to your down dog. Nope, no big deal, but fine. <laughs> Perfect. On an inhale, gaze forward between your hands. And we'll exhale to ragdoll pose. Walk your feet up behind your wrist so your feet are hip-width distance or maybe even wider than that. And then from here, reach for opposite elbow. So really let gravity start to take over through your spine. Find a little more length. You can bob up and down. You can sway your torso side to side. Again, just finding a little organic movement. Try to take your gaze back to the baseboards behind you so you're relaxing your neck here. Perfect. And we're going to take it into a little IT band stretch. So you can release your palms back for your mat. If you did take that wider stance, go ahead and heel toe your feet about hip width distance apart. Plant your left palm between your feet, maybe a little out in front of your toes. And then extend your right fingertips up to the ceiling. I want you to take as deep a bend in your left knee as you need to. So maybe it's like really deep bend in that left knee, but try to straighten your right leg here as much as you can. And you'll start to feel that sensation along your right IT band. I think Coach Drew found it. <laughs> Check. Yeah. So really drive that right heel into the mat, and you'll start to feel the outside of that thigh wake up. Yeah, you can bring your right hand back to the mat and line that twist. Maybe take a second to pedal out your heels again. And then plant your right palm between your feet, maybe just a little bit out in front of your toes. And reach your left fingertips up to the ceiling this time. So again, take as dramatic a bend in your right knee as you need to here, but try to straighten that left leg as much as you can. We'll start to feel that sensation along the outside of that left thigh through your IT band. One more breath here. And then bring that left palm back to the mat as well. Ooh. Take another second. Pedal out your heels. <laughs> Feeling that lower body stretch. <laughs> All right, so we're going to slowly roll up to a standing position. You can always bring your hands to your thighs if you'd like a little more support. Take your time, make it slow. We were upside down for a second there, so no rush. Maybe you take a second to roll those shoulders down and back once you come up, right? Welcome to standing. <laughs> I would be there. Right? <laughs> All right, we're going to get into a little full body flow just to wake everything up a little bit. So you can bring your feet about hip width distance, or you have the option, if you want to make it a little more challenging on your balance, to heel toe your feet so your big toes touch. There'll be a sliver of space between your heels. And then we'll inhale to mountain pose. Reach your fingertips overhead. Roll your shoulders down your back. Good. Breathe here. So take a second, engage your quads, feel your kneecaps rising your legs, and then draw your core in tight work to corset your ribs in. Take those shoulders back on your back, good. Inhale. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Bring your right hand, reach for your left wrist, and then reach your left fingertips up and over. So your feet can stay planted, or you have the option to step your left foot behind your right to feel a little more sensation along that left side body if you would like. Yeah, so you can step that left foot behind your right heel. Mm -hmm. Now try and keep a proud chest, so continue to draw your left shoulder back, press your right forward, like your back is pressed up against the wall. Perfect. We'll inhale back to mountain pose, realign your feet if you took that stance, reach up. And exhale, side stretch to the left. So reach your left hand for your right wrist, reach those right fingertips up and over. Feet can stay exactly where they are, or maybe this time you step your right foot behind your left, working to bring your pinky toes to touch you. <laughs> and then work to draw that left shoulder back, right forward, suck your belly in. Good. Inhale back to your mountain pose, realign your feet, find that length. 
And we'll exhale to a cactus back bend. Goal post your arms out to the side. Open your heart forward and up. Good. First time here, it does not need to be that dramatic. Work to scoop your hip points up to your bottom ribs. Keep that core tight. And then really squeeze those glutes to protect your low back. Good. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from your hips. Bring your fingertips all the way down to the floor. Take as deep a bend in your knees as you need to here. So maybe you set your hips low. That's okay. And then once you're here, think about lifting your tailbone up towards the ceiling and extend the crown of your head towards your mat. So you probably aren't going to be able to look at your feet here. You're actually looking back behind you. Good. On an inhale, we'll find a halfway lift. Bring your fingertips to your shins. Extend your spine to parallel with your mat. Suck your belly button up towards your spine. Keep a flat back. Good. And then we'll exhale to a high plank. Plant your palms on the mat. Step your feet back. We're going to hold in this high plank for just a second. Check in on your form. Engage your glutes. Engage your quads. Really drive back through your heels. On an inhale, shift your weight forward so your shoulders come out two inches in front of your wrist. And exhale to your low plank. Take a bend in your elbows. Always the option to drop to your knees here. On an inhale, we'll come to your upward facing dog. So press through your palms, lift your heart forward. You can keep your thighs on the mat if that's more comfortable. Or for the full expression of up dog, press the tops of your feet into the mat to lift your thighs up. <laughs> and then we'll exhale to your downward facing dog. Flip your feet, press your hips back up to the ceiling. Good. So that is a chaturanga. <laughs> we'll flow through a few of those. Know that you always have the option to skip your chaturangas here. So from that high plank, you can just hold high plank, build some strength in that pose, and then press back to down dog to meet us here when you're done. So we're gonna flow through those poses a few times here. On an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, walk your feet up to the top of your mat. On an inhale, halfway lift, extend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, grow tall. Exhale, side stretch to the right, reach up and over. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side stretch to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus back bend, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, extend. Exhale, high to low plank, plant your palms, step your feet back. Lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more time like that. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side stretch to the back. Inhale, through center. Exhale, side stretch to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, cactus back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Take it through your flow. Always the option to hold that high plank. Press back up to your down dog when you feel ready. From that down dog, take a deep inhale, fill up your lungs. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, grow tall. Exhale, chair twist to the right. Sit your hips low like in an imaginary chair. And then bring your right fingertips back behind you. Keep your left fingertips reaching out in front. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, so take a second, check in on the alignment of your knees. So it's easy to let your right knee draw back. Work to align your knees here, because it will align your hips. That way this twist is coming from your thoracic spine rather than from an alignment for your hips. Good, so continue to draw your belly button back. And then try and roll your right shoulder down your back, take it back into its socket. Perfect. So on your inhale, we're gonna come to a single leg mountain. Extend your right thigh to parallel with your mat. Breathe here. Good, so we've been in mountain pose before. That part's familiar, we're just challenging your balance this time. So draw your core to tight, again, take those shoulders down your back. 
Now work to drop your right hip crease to realign it with your left. And then hard flex your right foot so you can form three 90 degree bends in your ankle, your knee, and your hip. Inhale. Exhale, crescent with airplane arm. We're gonna stay rooted through that left foot. Bring your right toes back down to the mat behind you. Good, and then spiral your palms to face down. Reach your fingertips to the back of your mat. Work to form one long line of energy from your back heel all the way through your leg, your torso, up through the crown of your head. Good. We'll inhale to your warrior two. So you wanna spiral your back foot down. Reach your left fingertips out in front, right fingertips long behind you. Breathe here. Good, so we're taking a 90 degree bend through that left knee. Work to stack your knee over ankle, perfect. And then check in on your right foot. You wanna try and angle those toes towards the top right corner of your mat. So there is a little rotation through your ankle here as well. And then once you're there, work to align your shoulders directly over your hips. It's easy to start to surf forward here. We wanna use the strength of your core to realign. Take an inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep your legs as they are. Tick tock your hands to 12 and six. So options here, you can hover your left fingertips off the mat. You can take a bend in your left elbow and press your elbow into your thigh for a little support. Or you can grab that water bottle or yoga block if you have one, place it in front of your heel, and that way you can press your left palm into that water bottle to bring the earth a little bit closer to you. And then avoid dumping into your left side body where you're really using the strength of your obliques here to keep your torso lifted up off of your front thigh. Nice work, guys. <laughs> <laughs> From here, we'll inhale to star pose. This one's easy. <laughs> Get big. <laughs> Turn your feet so your toes point forward. And we'll exhale to a lateral lunge to the back of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. Shift your weight back into your heels. Take a 90 degree bend in your right knee. Work to keep your left leg straight. So you might feel a little stretching through your left inner thigh. You might also really feel your right glute and thigh working here. Work to keep your chest up, weights in your heels. Maybe you lift your toes up off the mat. We'll inhale back to that star pose. Get big, maybe shake out those legs. And exhale back to your warrior two to the top of your mat. If you've been here before. We'll inhale to a reverse warrior. Keep your legs as they are. Reach your left fingertips up and back. Breathe here. So your right hand here can come down to your right thigh. Or maybe you bring your right hand behind your low back, just to remind you to keep that core engaged, really pressing your low back into that hand. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Step your feet back, you an option to lower down or just hold this high plank. Inhale to your up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Feeling okay? Yeah. Great. We're gonna do all of that on the other side. <laughs> Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, extend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, grow tall. Exhale, chair twist to the left. Sit your hips low like you're sitting in that imaginary chair. Then reach your fingers, right fingertips out in front of you and your left fingertips long behind you. Good. And then check in on that form. Take a second to realign your knees. Suck your belly button up and back. Try and lose the sway of your low back here. Good. Now reach your fingertips out as far as you can. Really find the length through your arms. They are working here. Good. Your right foot is gonna serve as your foundation. Inhale, single leg mountain. Extend your left thigh to parallel. Find your balance, hold here. Good, check in as you lift that left knee. Sometimes the torso tends to roll back. You want to keep those shoulders stacked directly over your hips, directly over that right heel. Hard flex that left foot. Try to bring your knee in line with your hip. Take an inhale. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Take your time in this transition. Weight stays rooted through your right foot. Gently bring your left toes down to the mat behind you. Again, spiral your palms to face down and then try and squeeze your pinky fingers towards your midline behind you. You'll feel your shoulder blades work to draw back into their socket. Good. Lift your left heel up high off your mat. Really get your weight in the ball of that left foot. Perfect. And then we'll inhale to your warrior two. Spiral your back foot down. Open up. 
Yes, that bend will be in your right knee this time. Reach your fingertips out long. Nice job. Breathe here. Take a second, make sure your core shape is supporting your upper body. Stack your shoulders over your hips. And then check in, see if your knee is caving in. Work to press it toward the pinky toe edge of your foot. You're gonna feel that a little bit more through that left inner thigh and hip. Take an inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep your legs as they are. Reach your fingertips out in front and then tick tock to 12 and six. And same options, to hover here, to press your elbow into your thigh or to grab that water bottle or yoga block that you're using. With every inhale, grow a little bit longer through the crown of your head. And then on your exhale, draw your left shoulder back towards the wall behind you or to open up that chest. Good, nice job. Oh, we'll inhale to your star pose. Get big, shake out those legs parallel the sides of your feet to the edges of your mat. And exhale to your lateral lunge to the back of the room. Hands to the heart center. So you're taking that bend in your left knee and that right leg will be straight again. And again, shift your weight back into your heels, chest stays up. Roll those shoulders down your back and then lighten up through your toes a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We're doing great here. <laughs> You'll inhale to your star pose, get big. And exhale to your warrior two, pivot that front foot so your toes point back to the top of your mat. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Keep your legs as they are. Reach your right fingertips up and back. Yeah, really lean into that side body stretch. With every inhale, grow one inch taller. And then with your exhale, reach one inch further back. Good, recommit to that bend through your right knee. Perfect, take an inhale. Exhale, high to low, plank, cartwheel your hands down. Take it through your flow. And always the option just to press back to your down dog. Take your time. Nice breathing, Coach Terrell. All right, so we're gonna flow through all of that a few times. <laughs> you can do this. This movement is going to start to warm up your body. It'll make it a little bit easier to stretch everything out in the second half of our practice. So on an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, extend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, grow tall. Exhale, chair twist to the right, sit your hips low. Inhale, single leg mountain, extend your right thigh. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Take your time with this landing. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose, pivot your feet. Exhale, lateral lunge to the back, sit low. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank. Cartwheel your hands down. Take it through your flow. We meet back in down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair twist to the left. Press your left knee forward. Inhale, single leg mountain. Extend your left thigh. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Bring the ball of your left foot down. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale, extended side angle, thigh in length. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, lateral lunge to the back. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more time like that. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Our coaches are really excited about one more time. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair twist to the right. Inhale, single leg mountain, right thigh extends. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, lateral lunge to the back. 
Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, lift up. Exhale, chair twist to the left. Inhale, single leg mountain, left thigh lifts. Exhale, crescent with airplane arm, step it back. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, lateral lunge to the back. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Take it through your flow. We meet back in your downward facing dog. Starting to get a little warmer. A little bit. <laughs> Perfect. <Yeah. laughs> so listen to the changes this time. On an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair twist to the right, sit low. Inhale, single leg mountain, right thigh extends. Exhale, warrior three. Stay rooted through your left foot. Extend your right fingertips out in front of you. Shoot energy through your right heel all the way to the back of the room. Got it. So we're challenging that balance here. <laughs> challenging your balance. <laughs> Pick a focal point on the ground or something stationary to help you find your balance. And then our goal here is to form one long line of energy from your right heel all the way out through your fingertips. So if that right foot needs to be rooted on the floor and we're forming one long line of energy here, that's great. Maybe you can hover an inch or maybe you take it all the way to parallel with the floor. It's totally up to you. Find one more inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. With control, bring your back foot down. Beautiful transition, Darrell. <laughs> we'll inhale to star pose, get big. Exhale to your lateral lunge to the back of the room. Hold here. So once we find that lateral lunge, go ahead and plant your palms on the mat. We're gonna take this a little bit deeper into Skandasana. So root your palms here to support some of your weight and then take as deep a bend in your right knee as you can. This does not have to be stationary. So maybe you start to take that deep bend, press back up. Maybe your right heel lifts up off the floor as you shift your weight back. It's totally up to you. If you feel pretty good here, once you drive that heel down, you can lift your left toes up off the mat and find a little bit deeper stretch that inner thigh. If you want to challenge your balance, maybe you bring your hands to heart center, or maybe your weight stays rooted through your palms. <laughs> okay, so we'll ground those palms again. <laughs> Root them back into your mat. On your inhale, rise up to your star pose. <laughs> Exhale to your warrior. <laughs> inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, grow tall. Exhale, chair twist to the left, sit low. Inhale, single leg mountain, left thigh extends. Find your balance, exhale, warrior three. So start to hinge your torso forward. Take your left heel back behind you. Good. Awesome. So this is gonna feel pretty similar to a single leg death lift, which you're used to doing in our sessions. We wanna keep those hips square to the floor. So work to drive your left hip crease down, engage your right glute, press your right hip crease up. Good. If your toes on that back foot are pointing toward the floor, it's a pretty good sign that those hips are closed. Now protect your low back, suck your belly button up towards your spine. Take one more inhale. Exhale, warrior two. With control, bring your back foot down and open up. Inhale, star pose, get big. Exhale, lateral lunge to the back of the room. Once you get low, pause here. Bring your palms down to your mat and then play around with bending a little more into that knee. <laughs> it doesn't have to be stationary. Maybe you take a deep bend, press back up. 
We're just working to feel a little more opening sensation through your right inner thigh. And again, maybe that heel lifts up off the floor, that's okay too. If you can keep it grounded as you get low, maybe you start to lift your toes up off the mat and bring hands to heart center. You can always keep them grounded. Grounded is great. <laughs> if you did lift your palms, bring your hands back to your mat. We'll inhale to your star pose, lift up. <laughs> and exhale to your warrior two. <laughs> inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Take it through your flow. We meet back in your downward facing dog. <sighs> On an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to a seated position at the top of your mat. So walk your feet forward, drop your hips down to the floor. Bend back and pretty. How are we doing? Uh, okay. Excellent. <laughs> we are going to find a boat pose next. So actually, face. You guys can do the side. You all face this way. So boat pose, you have a lot of options. Your big toes can stay on the mat. Maybe you bring your hands to your inner thighs. Maybe you extend your shins to parallel. Stamp your footprint on a wall in front of you. Or maybe you straighten your legs here. Hands can stay on your thighs. Or maybe you extend your fingertips out long in front of you. Okay. Take whatever variation you want for meeting in boat pose. Oh, right now. Yeah, right now. Let's do it. Feel that core light up. Now flatten out your spine. Roll your shoulders down your back. Suck your belly button in tight. We're just going to hold here for three. Maybe release those fingertips. Two. Maybe start straightening those legs. And one. Take it all the way down to your back. Yay. <laughs> we're laying down. We're done. <laughs> so we're going to take it into some reclined figure four crunches. So cross your right ankle over your left knee into that reclined figure four position. Good. Work to press your right knee out in front of you. So you're going to feel that rotation through your right hip. And then interlace all 10 fingers behind your head. Elbows come out wide. Take an inhale. On your exhale, lift your shoulder blades up off your mat for a crunch. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, left elbow to right knee. So we're going to find a twist, light up those obliques. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, crunch up, shoulder blades lift. Inhale to lower, exhale to twist, left elbow, right knee, good. Find these at your pace. We're working to light up that core, get a little bit more strength here for the balancing poses that we have in the second half of this session. Good, and as you're here, continue to draw that right knee forward towards the top of your mat to keep opening up through that right hip. So we're really focusing on those hip openers today, opening up through your lower body, finding a little release from those sessions that you've been working on the go this week. Two more rounds here. Lift, lower, twist, lower. One more. Lift, lower, twist, and lower. And when you're done, maybe you extend your legs long, find a few kicks. Maybe a little stretch, fingertips and toes long in opposite directions. And then you know we have to do the other side. No. Mm -hmm. no, I know. Bend your knees, drag your heels to the mat. Hey. Come on, models. <laughs> 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 and then cross your left ankle over your right knee. Interlace all ten fingers behind your head, elbows out wide. Take a second to try and draw that left knee towards the top of your mat. Open up those hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, crunch up. Lift your shoulder blades off the mat. Inhale, lower down. Exhale to twist right elbow, left knee. Good. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, twist it up. Good. Find your pace here. We're working that connection to your breath throughout this entire session. Good. As the body starts to move, the mind starts to slow down a little bit. With every exhale, just work to let something go. We're still present in this moment with that connection to your breath, focusing in on you or that devotion in your practice. Good. Two more rounds. Nice job, guys. You got this. <laughs> One more round, coaches. <laughs> Beautiful job. And when you're done, stretch your legs and fingertips out long. Find some length. <sighs> and then when you're ready, go ahead and roll over onto your belly. So you can flip it over, belly down on your mat. Put your fingertips and toes long, and then start to inch your elbows back underneath your shoulders. We're going to find a sphinx pose. 
So a nice little stretch for those abdominal muscles. Take your shoulders down your back. I'm sorry? No chill. <laughs> Squeeze those glutes. Make sure that core stays nice and tight. And then from here, we're going to take it into a half frog. So we'll start just by taking a bend in your right knee. Draw your right heel towards your glute. This may be a lot on your right quad right here. If you want to make this a little more intense, you can reach your right fingertips back for that right foot and really draw that heel in towards your glute. If that is not an option, that's okay. Keep both hands grounded. Just work to draw that heel in as tightly as you can. Good. Hold here for three, two, and one. Extend it out long. Reground your palms. Take a second to realign here. Try and form the number 11 with your forearms. Palms face down into your mat. Take an inhale. And a left exhale to that half frog on the left. Start to bend your left knee, heel to glute. And then if you'd like to make it more intense, reach your left hand back. Grab the top of that foot. Draw your heel in. Feel that stretch along your left quad. Mm -hmm. Found it? Yes. Excellent. Our coaches are going to be so bendy when we come back to you. Four, three, two, and one. Ground your forearms. Lower back down. You're going to reach your fingertips and toes long. <laughs> and then when you're ready, roll back onto your back. Oh my gosh. Take a second to grab some water if you need it. Ready? <laughs> When you're ready, you can tuck your knees into your chest, maybe rock and roll side to side. We'll take it all the way up to a seated position. Take a little water break if you need one. <laughs> all right, and then from here, we are going to meet back in a standing position. So you can plant your palms into your mat, come up standing however you want. Doesn't have to be pretty. Oh, sorry. Yep. <laughs> I need a little bit longer. You do you. <laughs> All right. So heel toe your feet either again hip width distance apart or big toes to touch. Slipper space between the heels is a little more challenging on your balance. Totally up to you. We'll inhale to your mountain pose. And then we're going to exhale to a dancer on the right. So start by taking a bend in your right knee and reaching for your foot here. So here you have the option. You can grab for the pinky toe edge of that foot and just work to hold here. You're going to feel that quad stretch similar to what we found on the floor. If you want to make it more challenging, bring your hand toward the big toe side of your foot. Before you even move, work to align your hips. So draw your core in, work to squeeze your knees towards one another. And then from here, if you'd like to make this more intense, start to kick into that back leg. So with dancer pose, we want to try and keep that torso upright. Chest is facing out in front, and we want to try and reach the left fingertips up toward the ceiling the whole time. So there's really not much of a hinge in this pose, rather working on kicking that back foot. So you're going to feel that hip flexor along the right side, find a little more length. You're going to feel that right glute and right quad really engage here. We're also obviously challenging that balance. Good. I'm going to put my foot down girl this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <here. laughs> Pose. <laughs> With control, we're going to inhale down to a crescent lunge. Gently bring your right toes down to the mat. Reach your fingertips up to the ceiling. Roll your shoulders down. Good. Three here. So in this crescent, work to press your right hip crease forward. Squeeze your left glute. The tendency here is to open up to the right side. Keep it tight. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Keep your legs as they are. Bring your palms down to either side of your front foot. So you're going to frame that front foot with your hands. Yep, so actually bring that left hand to the pinky toe side and right hand to the big toe side. Perfect. And then we'll inhale to a kneeling crescent. So drop your right knee down to your mat. You can reach your fingertips up toward the ceiling or maybe you bring them to your left thigh. Work to shift your weight into that left heel. Feel a little more stretch along that right hip crease. And then we'll exhale to a half split. So sit your hips back. Option here to ground your hands on either side of your foot, or option to grab that water bottle. Maybe you bring it underneath your left hand for a little support as you sit back. And then I want you to move through this at your pace. So inhale, shift forward. Hands can be on the floor or on your left thigh. And exhale to your half split, set it back. Just take a few rounds here, finding a little dynamic movement to help you open up that right hip flexor, left hamstring, whatever it is it might be. That balance. <laughs> 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 you gotta say it three now. 
Okay, one more round. <laughs> Only Julia needs to do this. <laughs> we will inhale back to that kneeling crescent, reach your fingertips up. And then we're going to exhale to a runner's lunge. This time you want to bring your hands to the inside, the big toe side of that left foot. You may need to heel toe your left foot over to the side a little bit. And then lots of options for runner's lunge. You can keep that back knee grounded, hands on the mat. Maybe you come down to your forearms here. Maybe you curl your right toes under and make this more active by lifting your right knee up. Again, up on your palms, down on your forearms, whatever it is for you. And then once you're here, try to lengthen your spine. So watch your gaze so that you really press the back of your head up toward the ceiling as opposed to tucking your chin into your chest. Good, create a little space there. And then if you'd like to take this a little bit deeper, you have the option to take this into Crooked Monkey. So you're welcome to stay right here in your runner's lunge. Or if you want to make it more intense, come back up to your palms, drop your right knee to the mat. And then you're going to take that bend in your right knee that we worked in that half frog and reach your left fingertips back to capture that right foot. Look at you. Work to open your chest up toward the left hand side of the room and then continue to press your left big toe down into the mat. So we have a tendency here to roll to the pinky toe edge of that foot. Continue to drive down through that big toe and big toe mound so that this opening is coming from your left hip. And at any point you can always come back to that runner's lunge. We will be there to move on. If you are down in your forearms, go ahead and press your palms back underneath your shoulders. Curl your right toes under. Lift your right knee up. Root down through your right palm. We will inhale to a side plank. Step your left foot back. Reach your left fingertips up toward the ceiling. Breathe here. So options are to drop that right knee down to the mat, which Drew is doing right here, for a little support in the side plank position. Actively work to draw the core in. Lift the hips up. Perfect. Take an inhale. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga, bring both palms to the mat, lower down. You guys know you always have the option to press up to your down dog. Otherwise, we'll inhale to that upward facing dog. And exhale to your down dog. On an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and pause here. If your big toes are touching, go ahead and heel toe your feet about hip width distance apart. We're gonna take this into gorilla pose. So for gorilla, you wanna bring the backs of your hands down to the mat, and then you'll walk your feet forward so that your toes come up towards your wrist crease. If that's uncomfortable, always the option here maybe just to reach for the backs of your calves to pull yourself a little bit deeper. But if you're in that gorilla, work to make a connection between your belly and thigh. Take as deep a bend in your knees as you need to. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then as you work to pull yourself deeper, your elbows will go out wide towards either side of the room. So you're gonna feel a little more sensation through the backs of your legs. And then you might feel a nice wrist stretch here as well. If you can really walk those toes all the way up to that hip crease. Good. And if you did, go ahead and release your hands. Take a second. Shake it out, bend into one knee, straighten the other. Maybe shake out the wrists a little bit, whatever you need. And if you'd like to heel toe your feet back together so your big toes touch, we're going to do all of that on the other side. Inhale, mountain pose, grow tall. Exhale, dancer on the left. Shift your weight into your right foot. Take that bend in your left knee. And again, option here, option one is just to hold on to the pinky toe edge of that front foot and focus on that quad stretch. Option two is to bring that hand toward the big toe side of the foot. Before you add any movement, squeeze your inner thighs in, trying to get your knees to touch, square your shoulders to the top of your mat. And then if you feel ready, start to kick through that left heel. As you kick, notice if your torso hinges forward, lift it back up, chest stays up, right fingertips reach for the ceiling here. You're going to feel more sensation along your left hip flexor that way. Yeah. Drew said yeah. <laughs> Obviously challenging that balance. Press your entire right foot down into the mat. Right quad is active. There can be a little bend in the knee. So make sure you engage that quad to build a kneecap lift. Huh? He's not wobbling at all. He's totally stationary. Is he really? Yeah. I think he's right foot there. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> With control, step your right foot back. We're going to be back in your crescent lunge. 
Bring the left, follow the foot down. Reach your fingertips overhead. Roll your shoulders down your back, then scoop your hip points up towards the bottom rib. Engage the core. Good. Take that inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Bring the palms down to either side of that front foot. We'll inhale to your kneeling crescent. Drop your left knee to the mat. And again, option to reach the fingertips up overhead, or maybe you bring the palms to the right thigh here. Start to shift your weight into that right foot. You may need to adjust this placement of the right foot. That's okay. You're not committed to that one position. And then when you're ready, shift back into that half split. Hands can come to the mat. Maybe you keep it on your thigh. Don't put that hand down, bro. Maybe you grab your water bottle. Bring it to the outside of your right leg. And again, shift back and forward at your pace. So inhale forward. And exhale back. Are you okay? <laughs> Put your hands down, Drew. That was quite a pop. <laughs> that felt good. It's supposed to feel good. Good. Notice any changes here that you might be feeling along your left hip flexor, your right hamstring. Whatever it is, take two more rounds here at your pace. Whenever you're done, just meet us back in that kneeling crescent. Reach your fingertips overhead. And we'll exhale to your runner's lunge. Bring your hands down to the big toe side of your right foot. Heel toe that right foot out. And then note that this side may not feel the same as the first. So in that runner's lunge, maybe you take a different variation on this side. We're just looking for a similar sensation in your body. So hands can stay down. Maybe you come down to the forearms. The back knee can stay rooted in the mat. Or option to curl the toes under and lift the left knee up. Play around with it, find that same sensation. Come back to the breath. Good work, perform one long line through the spine, tailbone to the top of the head, nice job. And then option to stay right here in your runner's lunge, or if you'd like to take it into Crooked Monkey on this side. Reground the palms, drop the left knee to the mat. Then take that bend in the left knee, draw the heel towards the glute, and reach the right fingertips back to capture the foot. There's a lot of twisting going on in the spine here. So with every inhale, grow longer through the crown of your head. And every exhale, open up into that twist. And work to press the right big toe mound back into the mat. So that this opening isn't coming from your ankle, but rather from that right hip. And whenever you're ready, you can meet us back in that runner one. Curl the toes under, lift the left knee up. Make sure the palms are grounded into the mat. We're gonna root that left palm down. Inhale, side plank, step your left foot back to meet your left. Reach the right fingertips up high, breathe here. And same option on this side to drop the left knee down. Good, work to draw the right shoulder back over the left. Really open up the chest, proud heart. Take an inhale. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Ground the palms, take it through your flow. And meet us back in down dog. We're gonna to inhale to a three-leg dog. Lift your right heel high and breathe here. So in this three-leg dog, we're actually gonna find a little movement. Go ahead and take a bend in the right knee, draw your heel towards your glute, and then make some circles with that kneecap. You can draw some little ones, some big ones, whatever it is, you're gonna feel a little opening sensation through the right knee. <laughs> Good. It doesn't have to look like anything else, just whatever feels right in your body that finds a movement there. Whenever you're ready, you can inhale, take that leg long again. And then we're going to exhale to a half pigeon. So draw your right knee towards your right wrist. Yep. And then you can lower yourself down. So options here. Go ahead and uncurl the toes. You can press the top of your foot down to the mat. The closer your right heel is towards your body, the less intense it will be. So if you feel like you want more, you can start to inch that foot forward. Maybe you bring it all the way to parallel with the top of your mat. Maybe you don't. That can be a lot. <laughs> and then options here, there's a lot of talking going on in my yoga class. Options here, torso can stay upright. That can actually be a little more stretching sensation along the left hip flexor. Or if you'd like, you can start to walk your hands forward. Good. Just make sure that the left knee and toe are pointing down toward the mat. So you can see that in our lovely models to make sure that those hips stay closed here. 
And then if you did walk your hands forward, go ahead and walk them back towards your torso. Shift your weight into your right glute, and we're gonna kick that left leg forward. So once you're here, that right inner, or I'm sorry, the bottom of your right foot's gonna be pressing into your left inner thigh. So go ahead and shift your torso that you're facing that left foot. Take an inhale. And then on your exhale, we're gonna hinge into a single leg forward fold. So your hands can stay on the floor. Maybe you reach forward and hold onto that foot. We're working to lower your belly towards your thigh and then your forehead to your shin. So we want to keep a flat back as you lower. Is that right? <laughs> so what we don't want to do is just round forward with the forehead's on the shin. We want to keep a nice proud chest flat back as you hinge. <laughs> Perfect, and then we'll come out the same way you came in. Maybe you press into the mat to lift up. Go ahead and round your right hand next to your right hip. We're gonna take this into a gate pose. So press into that hand, lift your hips up, and then reach your left fingertips long behind you. So we're working here to form one long line of energy from your left heel up through your side body and all the way up through your fingertips. You might feel that stretch along your left side. Oh, yeah? Feels like I'm right IT band. <laughs> That too. <laughs> and then whenever you're ready, you can come back to that seated position, lower back down. And we're gonna come back into a down dog, however you wanna get there. So you can come to a tabletop first, crawl those toes under and press back up. Whatever works for you. Maybe take a second to pedal out the heels, find a low release. And move all of that on the opposite side. So inhale to a three-leg dog, lift your left heel high. And then bend that knee, draw your heel towards your glute, start to make some circles with that kneecap. Make some one way, make some the other way. Make some small, make some big. Just find that release. And whenever you're ready, you can inhale to extend that leg long again. And exhale to your half pigeon on the left, knee to wrist. Take a second, take a peek toward that back leg, ensure your knee and toe point down to your mat. And then play around here. Maybe you pull that right foot forward a little, work to bring that chin to parallel. Maybe you don't. Maybe your torso stays upright. Maybe you prefer to hinge. Just listen to your body here, whatever it is that works for you. Working to find a similar sensation on that side. I do that too. <laughs> We've made it to the floor. This is like a home stretch. Is it sweat or is it tears? <laughs> It's hard to say. You may never know. <laughs> and when you feel ready, walk your hands back into your torso. Press your torso upright if you did hinge. And then shift your weight into that left glute. Kick your right foot forward. So we'll bring that the bottom of the left foot to the right inner thigh. Take a second to square your torso towards your right foot. Inhale for length. And exhale to full hinge from your hips. Remember, take the rounding out of your spine. So belly button to thigh. And then maybe forehead to shin if you're flexible for a And when you're ready, you can come out the same way you came in. Maybe you walk your hands back out, press your torso up. Round your left palm next to your left hip. Drive through your right heel, lift your hips up. We'll come into that gate pose. One long line of energy. Really drive your right heel into the mat and then actively reach your right fingertips long. Open up a little more space along that right rib cage. And whenever you feel ready, you can take a seat back to the floor. Kick your legs out long, we're taking it to your back. <laughs> Once you're there, extend your legs out long. On an inhale, drive your right knee into your belly. See if you can make a connection between your right quad and your torso. Just breathe here for a second. If your thigh's already touching your torso, maybe try and tuck that right knee into your armpit to get a little bit deeper here. Take another inhale. And we'll exhale to a twist. So hold that right kneecap with your left hand and take that knee over and across. Your gaze can stay up to the ceiling. If you want to make this twist more intense, bring your gaze over to your right fingertips. Work to keep both shoulders grounded here. When you're ready, come back through center. Bring that right leg back long. 
On your inhale, draw your left knee in tight. You can hold on to your shin, your thigh, whatever feels acceptable. Just breathe here for a second. Draw your right knee in. And if you have that thigh to belly connection, maybe you take your knee towards your armpit. Open up a little bit deeper. Take one more inhale, cradle that left knee with your right hand. And exhale to your twist, draw your knee across. Again, gaze up to the ceiling or over your left shoulder this time. And when your body feels even, you can come back through center. We'll tuck both knees in tight this time. We're gonna take it into happy baby. So you can reach up for the big toe or the pinky toe edge of your feet. If your tailbone lifts up when you reach for your feet, maybe you hold onto your shins or ankles instead. You wanna keep the low back in contact with the mat here. And then once you're here, do what feels right. Maybe you find some kicks, bend into one knee, straighten the opposite leg. Maybe you rock side to side, find a little back massage. Maybe you straighten both legs, whatever it is. Take your time. you're ready, draw your knees back into your chest, create the smallest ball you can. Tuck your chin into your chest, your forehead to your knee. Take one more big inhale and exhale to Shavasana or Corpse Pose. You've reached our final pose of practice. Extend your fingertips and toes out long in opposite directions. your gaze and maybe you close your eyes completely. A quote that has been popping up for me a lot recently with all the events going on. It's been, if it is out of your hands, it deserves space from your mind as well. There's so much that is completely outside of your control right now. Let it go. So take a few minutes here just in silence to seal in your practice and your life. feel ready to bring some movement back into your body. You can start with some small movement in the fingertips and toes. Make some circles with your wrists here in place. Rock your head side to side, bring a little movement to your neck. Take any movements here that feel good and natural to you. Trust in your body to know exactly what you need. And then whenever you feel ready, you can roll to your left or right hand side in a fetal position. Use your bicep as a pillow. And press your top palm down into your mat. Take one more opportunity to feel grounded and present here. Know that this feeling is here for you whenever you want it. And even if you don't feel that you have time to devote to an entire yoga practice, you can always just work to come back to your breath. 
when everything feels out of your control. Start just by controlling your inhales and your exhales. Slow it back down. Be present in this moment. Bring a little more patience, a little more empathy into our world that could use it so much right now. And when you feel ready, press your palms back into your mat. Bring yourself to a seated position. Bring your hands to heart center. Take one more big inhale, fill up your lungs. And off the mat, exhale, let it go. The light, the love, the yogi in me sees and respects the light, the love, the yogi in each and every one of you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with us. Hopefully we'll see you back in the studio soon. If not, watch us on YouTube. We'd love to see your faces. Tune in for our Zoom meetings. We'd love to see you guys. We can't wait to see you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>